try this again. We don't know the devil side of the story because God wrote all the books. Uh, okay. Are we trying to make the devil a good guy now? Oh yeah, I've just... Is this fabulous? Possibly. Torture of Shit. a bad conscience is the hell of a living soul. pisses me off is that it's like it can get That's such bullshit. It wouldn't be so bad if you could actually throw the chairs properly, but your throw is so fucking weak. Like, I picked it up and I throw it, and it's like, I'm here, and it lands, like, here. This road can't be. Is this where you crashed your car and you killed your wife and kid? Oh, it's, uh... Edward, do you have any kids? Nope. Used to? I had a daughter. <laughs> She's fucking she dead. She's deceased. And then she just fucking bounces because the shit got awkward. Why am I here? You gotta judge people what and then you're gonna name? get judged. Who? Your daughter. Yeah, dude, keep up. Rosie. Her name was Rosie. Rosie. Beautiful name. Thank you. Why did I take this road? Why did it have to be raining all day? Dude, it's not your fault. Like, if it, if it was legitimately just an accident, then it's not your fault. Yeah, it sucks. No, it wasn't! Oh, we're back at the start. I see. Again? Need to be reminded of this route. Yes, you do. Oh, hello, dude. Your daughter wasn't the only one who died that night. Andrea never blamed you for the accident. Neither lives were destroyed because I took a shortcut. I'll start the right way. The other driver had a family. Why isn't it their fault that we crashed? Because like, he says he took a shortcut, but that just sounds like he took a different route. It should have been me. It doesn't mean that it was his fault. I should have been the one to die. Not Rosie. Andrew and I got away with minor injuries. Rosie was already dead when she reached the hospital. I mean, she looks fine. Oh, yeah, he's... Oh, Carol. she's fucked. I can't bear to look at this anymore. I need to leave. Does it say hell's a guilty conscience? <sighs> go that way. Uh. Nope. 
you can't leave, though. Oh, is this gonna be another fucking chase sequence? Can I run? I think it's terrible from the accident. Whoop, into a door we go. At least I didn't have to run far. I do not love men, I love what devours them. Sounds pretty gay, dude. When you devour men, it means their dick goes in your mouth, so that's pretty gay. No? Like, I see them there, but I don't see them, like, here. I think I can kind of see some, maybe? I don't know. Look, it's another car crash. It's fine, don't worry about it. Um. Is that the fire station? It's Silent Hill again, guys. I feel like that could be a problem. They got everyone here, too. Well, yeah, they got everyone everywhere. Basically, the only person left. For the red light to come back on. There we go. Uh oh. Uh, this is gonna suck, isn't it? Is there nothing else I can do here? To turn some lights on or something? This is gonna be annoying as shit again, isn't it? Is that it? the fire station? Reach the fire station. Well, I did, technically, but if I try to go in, I'm gonna die. Like, there's no way to get through that without dying, I guarantee you. I probably need to figure out something, but they sure did. This is like ah! There is someone in this world that you need to find. Cool. Can we? Thank you. Someone here? Who? I'm wondering if this game was done in a different language originally, and that's why like some of the cutscenes are oddly long. I don't know. We got a call today from Uncle Jenkins from the milk farm. Jenny says there was poor connection, that she couldn't understand clearly what he was saying, but that it was re something related to animals. I hopped in the truck with Bob and headed to the farm. When we got there, the front door was open, but Jenkins wasn't there. We searched for him, but he was nowhere to be seen. The weirdest thing is that his cows weren't there either. Old man Jenkins only ever leaves his house to feed the animals. Everyone knows that. That's when we called the sheriff. I hope it's not another disappearance. I don't know, man. Like, it kind of sucks that nobody really said anything about how Annika and her mother were being treated, but, like, I don't think they deserve to go to hell for it. Yet more locked doors. Hopefully, the key is around. Haha, <laughs> imagine being able to have a key. That's how silly.
That one didn't make a noise when I opened it. That's weird. Crime and punishment. Yeah, they really don't give the player any credit. Don't like that noise. Why is there like a weird hiss? I do not like it. Everything in here. Stop watching crap on the laptop. The tech guy has to come here every week to clean the computer of viruses. Pass the time. Dude's jacking off to porn on company time. You. Secret ending. You just get ripped to pieces because you kept throwing shit. Oh no. Can't go that way. This just looks really ominous. Bonk. I was thinking, oh, it's like gonna be like too dark. So that's worrisome. I'm a practical person. I'm not religious, and I don't believe in supernatural stuff. But what I saw last night can't be rationally explained. I was in the parking lot outside the diner, completely alone. All you could hear was the wind. Suddenly there was a bang. I looked up and saw the light bulb from a nearby lamppost go out. When I looked down, I was partially surrounded by a group of figures with glowing eyes. I asked them what they wanted, but they just stood there in the dark, looking at me, holding knives and axes. I got in my car as fast as I could, and when I looked at the rearview mirror, no one was there. Yay. Uh, I was already in there. That one let me go up. I clicked there already, so it's time to unlock the door. There's a door. So I probably need to get in there in a minute. Why is there a door here? Because it's one of like the weird glowy ones that are like horrible and terrible and destroying my eyes. Now what? Oh, this is the porn room. Like where the dude was getting told off for watching porn. At least those peeps are not here. I enjoy that the peeps are not here. Wait, wasn't there like a thing with fire like right here? I guess not in this world. Downstairs we go. Oh! Oh, I'm back in the real world. Or not? What? I'm so. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's. Oh, uh, there's a thing up there. I don't. I don't like that. This is problematic. Oh no. Crap. How do I get across? Where's the next one? It's right there. Yeah, I don't think I want to go in there. Thank you. Huh. 
picked up a valve. So I need to get back upstairs. Okay, I figured Yeah, there's like a thing up there and that's Oh, and it burned the thing. this person I must find. What if the person I need to find is the one I burned to death? <laughs> that would be kind of funny. <laughs> Whoops. Hey guys, how's it going? Nothing interesting in here. What? But it was facing... Okay, it was absolutely facing down before. That girl and her mom did nothing wrong, and they were ostracized by everyone since day one. Why? Because they were different? Those who saw did nothing are as much to blame as all the others, myself included. My own son. I still don't know what happened that night. I want to believe it was an accident. Hayden's a good boy. He just hangs out with the wrong crowd. We had to do this, we had to cover it up. It's our duty as parents. Anyone would have done the same. Or maybe this is me trying to find an excuse. I know what I did and I'm ready to pay my dues. They're waiting for me outside with those hellish eyes glowing in the dark. All I can do is wait for them. Felt like a failing father. Yeah. So I have to find him, I guess. Um glowing. Yeah, some of these rooms feel really superfluous. So yeah, it's down. to go through that uh oh god it's too bright wow. I need to watch my stuff now what Just stay. And then, I don't know, I grab this and I can knock it away so I go up. But okay. I'm just gonna stick it real, real close to the edge. And then. There we go. Alright, um. This feels unreal.
See, it would help if they weren't, like, doing that. There. Oh, I'm probably gonna want that one then. So I can put this down at the end of this. What's the symbolism here, though? Like, what is this supposed to mean? One of these I think I need to not have. Alright. I did it. I need something to put down then. Let's just grab you. I'm just <laughs> forever reminded that Keith was an absent father and didn't want to fail his child again. Alright. Why are we only like judging dudes though? I'm curious about that. I'm not sure what these numbers are supposed to mean. Maybe it's like, I don't know. 
the sides of the shape that are on there. Like, but I think it's all the same shape, isn't it? Oh no, it isn't. Two, four, six. See, it feels like sunrise or sunset. That should be three. All right. And can I leave? The answer is no. Bob, we've known each other since forever. I'm going to ask you something that goes against everything I believe in. You were in the creek that morning with me and the sheriff. We all saw the poor girl dead under the coroner's blanket. It shouldn't have happened, but it did. You also know that my son was involved. He can't go to jail or juvenile detention or whatever it is they take kids nowadays. He's a child. It was an accident. I'm sending him to live with my sister in San Francisco. I need to get him out of dorm law, but no one can know about the accident. Jack will make sure the investigation is closed. All we need to do is forget that morning. I'm not asking you as the chief. I'm asking you as a friend. Uh, Even the fire chief was covering up Annika's death. Hey, buddy. Dedicate your whole life to helping others. That's what the chief did his whole life. Mm -hmm. He was so dedicated to the fire department that he often forgot he had to be a father to his son. This time he didn't forget. And so he colluded with the sheriff to drop the investigation. Keith Bradley was a noble man, but he helped cover up the death of a little girl. What do you decide? Should Keith Bradley really be forgiven or pay for his crime? Hopefully, this is the last time. Um. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna forgive him. The chief can be forgiven for being a good man. I just made a mistake. Achievement unlocked. Absolution. Who am I to judge? I am just one man. I think for the lot I go. 